opens today in the little village of Ware. Ware is just like any other village, except for one thing. It's haunted. <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, that's just the place that Hoppity Hooper and his two companions got a flat tire. Actually, we didn't get a flat tire, our truck did. Well, not the truck, really, just one of the wheels. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's all right. Oh, anyone can make a mistake. I think that I know it. Let's get on with our story, shall we? Our heroes had a flat. And what's more, we don't have a spare tire. We'll have to get this one repaired in town. I don't like the looks of that town, Waldo. Now, what's the name of it? Uh, what's it say on the signpost? Uh, where? Right in front of your bird oh. brain. The name is Fillmore. I know, but what's the name of the town? No, 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 not what. Where? I got a funny feeling I've heard this routine before. Where? That's it, Waldo. What? Did not what? Where? Who's on first? But while our friends continued this snappy but outdated patter, uh, <clears throat> their flat tire slowly and mysteriously began to roll downhill. Hey, there goes our tire rolling toward the village. What? Where? Never mind, after it. And away our three friends galloped after the runaway tire. In a few minutes, they found themselves in the town square of Ware. Boy, this place is kind of creepy. Uh, yeah. And that sure a funny-looking statue in the middle of the square. Come on, that's not a statue. That's a gallows. And that's no bluebird of happiness on top of it, either. Let's get this thing fixed and get out of here. There's a garage, Uncle Waldo. Oh, yes. I say, my good man, and I use the term loosely, can you repair a tire for us? Uh, this one's a goner. You certainly are. No, not us. He meant the tire here. Hey, hey, boy, what a spook. Whom, may I ask, are you calling a spook? I didn't think he heard me. The idea of calling me a spook. I never heard of such a thing. It's slander, that's what it is. Rank slander. I should sue. The, the great gully wumpers. Look at that. B pull yourself together, old man. We didn't mean anything. Very well, then. Uh, how long will it take to fix our tire? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps a long, long time. Well, that means we'll have to spend the night here. I don't think I'd really like it here. Nonsense. Lots of people who have spent one night here have decided to stay permanently. Uh, that who, for instance? There's some of them out there now. Uh, that does it. I'm hitchhiking to the next town. In the dark? It's not dark yet. But darkness falls quite quickly here. <laughs> See? The gee, it's black as a hat already. Well, I guess you'll just have to spend the night in our hotel. How do we get there? I'll drive you over in my pickup truck. Pickup truck? That's a hearse! I didn't say what it picked out. And with chattering teeth, our friends climbed into the somber black hearse for a ride to the hotel. I didn't think I'd ever take but one ride in one of these. You may still be right. Gee, that's a bad knock you've got in the engine there. That's not the engine, Hoppity. Those are my knees. All too soon, the mysterious garage man deposited them in front of a sagging, weather-beaten old house. This is the hotel? It looks like the Death Valley Hilton. Somebody's opening the door. <laughs> but nobody's there. I wish it was me. Hey, I just thought of something. Do you know what night this is? Uh, don't tell me. It's, it's Halloween. Yes, a night full of ghosts, goblins, spooks, and banshees. What's a banshee, Fillmore? I don't know. I stopped listening when he said ghosts. And just then, a bony hand emerged from the dark doorway and beckoned our friends to enter. Will they? And if so, why? Don't miss our next episode, The Witch of Ware or The Flying Sorceress. <laughs> okay, and you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Hmm? Last time, our heroes had arrived at a hotel in the haunted village of Ware. Well, let's go in. We can't stay out here. It's gonna rain. I'd rather be soaked than croaked. Come on, Fillmore. Where's your spirit? I know where mine is. It's all them others I'm worried about. Nevertheless, our friends entered the gloomy hotel lobby and cautiously approached the desk. 
Looks like nobody's here. Hey, that's a hopeful sign. Ring the bell, Uncle Waldo. Good evening. You gong? Why, yes, we'd like a room for the night. Very well. Sign the register. Well, that's funny. This is red ink. Yes, yes. Sign quickly before it cluts. How much of the room? One dollar a night. What's the weekly rate? I wouldn't know. Nobody's ever stayed more than one night. I can see why. You can get your key from the bellboy. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> uh, you want to bet? Then, as our heroes approach the bellboy... Whoa, look at that! Uh, he looks a mite peaked, don't he? Well, the tips must be terrible here. Get the keys, Fillmore. Okay. Gee, it's a funny shape. What kind of a key do you suppose it is? Stay all together now. A, a skeleton, skeleton key. key! Not very funny, Fillmore. I don't know. It, it sure broke him up. Come on. In a little while, our heroes... Heroes? The terrified trio, then, were huddled in a huge, clammy four-poster bed. Well, let's get some sleep. But no sooner had they closed their eyes than... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Lily in the Valley, what's that? I'll find out. Hey, Mr. Clerk, what's all that racket? Now, what seems to be the trouble? Uh, gee, Waldo, that was amazing. Yes, that's what I call quick service. We want to know what all the racket is downstairs. Oh, I'm sorry if you have been disturbed. It's just a little Halloween party. A party, oh boy, free food. Hey, can the orchestra use a bugler? You are cordially invited, of course. Well, that's nice of you. I don't know, Uncle Waldo. Some pretty creepy things have been happening around here. Tut, tut, my boy. We're all a bit tired, that's all. Nothing like a little cider and ginger snaps to buck you up, though, is there? Now, what do we use for costumes? Well, with the help of the night clerk, our friends soon ah. themselves up in Halloween costumes. Hoppity put a pumpkin on his head and went as a jack-o'-lantern. Fillmore used a clean sheet off the bed and went as a white ghost. Hey, not such a clean sheet. I'm going as a tattletale gray ghost. And Waldo went to the devil. That's as the devil. Oh, sorry. Well, the clerk led them to the cobweb-covered ballroom where the activities were in full swing. <laughs> Costumes, there's witches and goblins and spooks. Why, they certainly are a lively bunch. Yeah, and it must be almost midnight. It's exactly midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to unmask. Hey, but we just got here. Don't be a drag, Fillmore. Besides, we can still have our cider and ginger snaps unmasked. Surprise, surprise, it's me. Surprise, I'm really a frog. Hey, and I'm a bear. And you're a... You're a witch. Hey, and, and you're a ghost. Yes, with a thrill of horror, our boys realized that the others in the room weren't wearing masks at all. They're really witches, ghosts, and goblins. Let's get out of here. Welcome, gentlemen, to the annual convention of the H-O-O-H-A-S. The who has? The horrible order of haunts and spooks. Who has right? Come on, they can't keep us here. No. Stop. Oh. Hey, now. Hey, somebody must have dropped their gum. No, gentlemen. You are now under my spell. <laughs> Yikes. For more hearty laughter, see our next episode, Some Enchanted Evening, or Voodoo Something to Me. <laughs> Last time, you remember, our friends found themselves unwilling guests at a spooks convention. The meeting will please come to disorder. <laughs> now, I suppose you all know our plan for tonight. <laughs> good, good. We don't know it. I don't want to know it. Well, you see, we spooks and specters have only one night to howl each year. Is that why they call it Halloween? Oh, you are going to get yours, fat boy. Yes, on Halloween, we get to ride our broomsticks, turn into bats, and roam the countryside playing mean tricks on everybody. It's a ghostly guess. But then what happens? In the morning, as soon as the rooster crows, we all have to disappear for another year. <laughs> <laughs>
But this year, this year will be different. <laughs> Why? What are you going to do? This year, we are going to silence every rooster in the world. And if the roosters don't crow, it will be Halloween all year long. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Can't you see it, Hoppity? Yeah. Every house in the country will be haunted. The regular ghost to ghost network. And all the trash cans will be upset. Okay, not to mention the people who own them. And worst of all, it'll always be October. We'll never get around to Christmas again. Yes, that's the beauty part. <laughs> Take them away. <laughs> In no time at all, our friends found themselves in a small cell in the basement. Don't worry, there's only one guard at the door. Okay, then he's just an itty-bitty shrimp. Say, fella, what would you do if all three of us just decided to walk out of here? Oh, I hope you wouldn't do that. I'd get terribly upset. What a pigeon. And when I get upset, I turn into a ravening, bloodthirsty werewolf! You know, for a pigeon, he's got remarkably large teeth. Meanwhile, the horrible order of haunts and spooks were carrying out their fiendish plan to silence all the roosters in the world. The ghosts blew icy drafts through chicken coops. This gave the roosters laryngitis, and they couldn't crow a note. The witches simply cast spells on the poor birds. Kazam, as we say. <laughs> so instead of crowing, they went... Meh. Or... Meh. Or even... Racing with the moon, high up in the midnight blue. Ah! The specters had more direct means of silencing the feathered alarm clocks. Uh, it says free chicken dinners. Where's the chicken? <laughs> chicken in specter. Meanwhile, back in the small cell, our heroes were trying to devise some means of escape. Chicken Ian Spaxter! Pay no attention, Uncle Wallo. I've got an idea. What is it? Music hath charms to soothe the savage beast. A stitch in time saves nine, too. Well, don't you understand? Maybe if Fillmore plays his bugle, it'll put the werewolf to sleep. It's worth a try. Play, Fensdorp. <laughs> Sure enough, the music did have an effect on the werewolf. He turned back into a mild little man again. Say, do you know melancholy baby? Say, if you hum it through once, I'll fake it. All right. Do, 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 do. My, you have a lovely voice. Do, oh, thank you. Do, 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 do. Quick, this way. What a break. You know, I just thought of something, Uncle Wallo. Mm. That old saying is, music has charms to soothe the savage breast, not beast. You mean it's not supposed to work on beasts? Well, not according to the old saying. Oh, that is upsetting. And the restored werewolf lunged at our heroes. You know, Hoppity, sometimes I wish you didn't have a classical education. Will our boys escape the jaws of the werewolf? See our next chapter, Down in the Mouth or Fangs a Million. You know, there's just nothing more ornery than an irritated werewolf, as our friends are finding out firsthand. Faster, faster, he's gaining! You wouldn't believe it, but worse trouble lay ahead of them, where a terrifying figure waited. He made a strange gesture, and suddenly a tripwire appeared in front of our boys. You clumsy mutt! Clumsy mutt? I would have had them if you hadn't tripped them. Now they've got away. Never mind. They can't stop our plan. We have already silenced every rooster in the country. This night will never end. <laughs> Ma, you're certainly repulsive. Oh, you are too kind, dear boy. Did you hear that? We've got to find a rooster that'll crow at daybreak so all these creeps will disappear. Dad, Dad, but we can't get out of the hotel without being spotted. Sure we can. How? This is a linen closet, isn't it? Are we going to lean our way out? As a matter of fact, yes. For two sheets and a pillowcase later, three new ghosts joined the roistering band of spooks and specters. Now, where do we find a rooster? That question was easily answered, for at that moment... <laughs> hey, what's that? Well, there's one school of thought would call it a muffled cry for help. 
is, and it's coming from that room. Nothing in here but an old croaker sack. <laughs> and, it, and it's croaking. Somebody or something is in that sack. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who is it? He uh, says his name is Impulgridity. Obviously an alias. A nom de sack, as it were. Our boys quickly open the sack to reveal... A, a rooster! rooster! Thank goodness, now if he'll only crow, we'll send that whole motley crew of hoo has back to the great unknown. Dave, come on, young fella. Let's hear you crow. If you don't, it's gonna stay Halloween till doomsday. Crow till the last armored foe expires. Crow for your altars and your fires. Crow for the green grass on your sires. Crow for your native land. That was very stirring, Waldo. Thank you. But he's still not crowing. So crow already! <laughs> oh, for the cry, I 50 million roosters and we get one whose voice is changing. They, they couldn't you just kind of wing it, fella? <laughs> it's no use with a feeble crow like that. The sun wouldn't bother coming up. Would you? And at that instant... <laughs> Gentlemen, your hour has come. Uh-oh, it's the head creep himself. Hey, wrong. It's the headless creep himself. First, you fat and lumpy. I think you would make a lovely rug. Zot! And sure enough, Fillmore was instantly changed into a bear rug. And you, Fox, I think we change you into a bunny rabbit. Zot! Don't lose heart, fans. Keep watching this channel for the Harry Hair Show. And as for you, Frog... Oh, turn me into anything you want. Anything except a chicken. Don't turn me into a chicken. I hate chickens. I despise chickens. I don't want to be a chicken. <laughs> well, boys and girls, guess what I'm going to turn him into? A chicken. Correct. You think? Be a chicken. Zot. And Hoppity did turn into a chicken. Not just any chicken. I'm a boy chicken. Great slabs of date nut bread. You're a rooster. Get him! But before the fearsome mob could move... <laughs> and our friends found themselves standing in broad daylight beside their truck on the outskirts of a little town called Ware. Hoppity, you did it! I'm not a rabbit! I don't have to wiggle my nose and act cute! And those eggs were killing me. I don't have to let people walk all over me! And I'm not a chicken either! You, you can, can say, say that, that again. again. Let's get out of here. But Uncle Waldo, did all that really happen, or was it just a Halloween story? It was real enough for me. Did it really happen? Is there a place called Where that's a haunted village? Or is there no Where? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.